Calling him with his mate, so he's not coming either, Sarah. Listen to me, Moses will not care. He'll be too busy throwing up. You have a good time, okay? Have fun. I love you. Bye. Oh, good. You managed to get Jack down for a sleep. Yeah, finally. You know what? I am keeping this on him all day, this towel. He is the most colicky baby. Uh, hey, Gwen, Gwen. Uh, I'm Clive, the vicar. We spoke on the phone. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, this is Debbie. Moses' big sister. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're all on for 4.15 then. Yeah, um... Do you still do a registration box? Oh, I'm aware you don't know his dad's name. Uh, Pete mentioned that. Oh, don't worry. Today's about Moses. Oh, so long as the big daddy knows him, we'll be fine. So, uh, are you nervous? First time in a village? Well, you seem like a lovely family to me. I prayed for that last night. <laughs> see you in church. Yeah, yeah, see you later. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers. He drinks his milk and then he sticks it back up. That kid's gonna cost me a fortune. Mm. Maybe he's missing his mother. Oh, yeah, well, for years he's an idiot. Oh, surely he's better off here than in prison. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bye, Dad. Mm. Of uh, the Church of Christ, we all have a duty to support Moses by prayer, example, and by teaching. As his parents... Sorry, 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 sorry. As his family and godparents, you have the responsibility of guiding him and helping him through the early years. Well, this is a demanding task for which you will need the help and grace of God. I'll need it not to kill Cain. You know what he's like. Let us now pray for grace in guiding this child in the way of faith. Debbie. Should I warn Debbie the police were at the factory? Well, she'll handle it if they turn up. She always does. Yeah. Hopefully see you at the wedding. Yes. Yours? Oh, right, yes, yeah, sorry. See, this is where a five o'clock start gets you. Thank you, mate. She had it all on her shoulders. Like it's too much, babes. Oh, it's fine. Charity's going to be thrilled when she hears me and you are godparents. I don't even know why I'm here. You're here to make sure Charles didn't have her fingers crossed when she renounced Satan. <laughs> <laughs> you usually laugh at your own jokes, Marlon. What's up? <laughs> Ignore me. Daddy, can I go play in the park? Of course you can. Yeah, Come on. You know, Jay thinks it's you that nicked his car. <laughs> really? Only out of time. But well, it's not that that's bothering you, then. I know it's hard. <laughs> Your mother dropping this on you, but you've got family and Pete. Solid as a rock, is that one? Yeah. And yet you still want to run a mile. Look, you can tell me anything. Eh? Right, come on, you lot, get in. Picky. It'll keep for now. Come on, get in! Come on! Come on! Kids. Come on. Vicky, come on! Come on, John! Come on, you can do it! Come in the front. That's it, close together, you and all. Come on. I can't believe I'm married to this absolute beaut of a woman. So, sorry for crushing the babies, do, but, you know, we just wanted to say cheers. 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 Now, can we go off and be newlyweds now, or what? Yeah, but it'll have to be the back room, so I've got to be back soon. All right, Sarah. And welcome to baby Moses. Oh, cheers. Come on, then, get it. Oh. <laughs> uh, why don't you and me have a bit of a stroll later, eh? Well, because every second is taken up with this. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're not happy... No need to point out Debbie Dingle. I'm sure you've met her before. Yeah, what have I got to be not happy about? Inside. No evidence, no warrant, and I'll have to word of that hysteric little... Ross! No, I'm not having it, Debs. He's not going to treat you like this. I've got people waiting for me in the pub, right? And it's going to be a long wait. My car's in there and you'll be down the cop shop. Move. There's nothing in there. We just open the door and get it over with. Of 
course it's not there. He's had all night to get rid of it. You've asked me to look, and I've looked. Well, maybe if you'd come when I called you last night. I'll fingerprint the toy car and get back to you, sir. Come on. Don't get cocky. I missed. Do call again. <laughs> you should try laughing more yourself. It's funny. It is. Some massive idiot thinks it's all going his way and then... Where is the car? Long gone. Think about it. Imagine Jay's face when he came out and found Jack's little toy car sitting there. <laughs> yeah, it had me laughing all night as well. And then I made ten grand. Which I can't share with you because I owe it to Charlie. And how are you going to get the rest of it? Honey, with well, a face like this. Not your problem. You can go any time you like. How many dodgy invoices are on that spike? What? You heard. Now he's got the bit between the teeth. Do you really think he's going to leave it because they can't find the car? Well, you must have your phone on silent, so you just have to catch you at home, OK? And listen, thanks for being brilliant, Pete. All right, I'll see you in a bit. You've had a rough time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you never helped me out. You react. For you. Yeah, but I don't need it. You're an idiot, Ross. You're going to spoil everything. What, here at the garage? Or at home? For you and Pete? I'm a mother. I should be at that pub with my family. My little brother that's got no one. I bet they are queuing up to look after him. You know, Grandad asked me if I wanted to run away today. Well, don't do that. I'm tired. Of it all. All? You like it this way? Oh, what choice have I ever had? Fostered out, dumped, left, babies. The worst mother. My dad's not much better, is he? OK. And do you know what? I've had to deal with it because no one's ever said, hey, what do you want? And what do you want? <sighs> Debbie. What do you want? I don't know.